welcome to Sweet Greek Parents, where I feature Mar and Faux for Crochet Parents. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute, super cute little extra extra small size turtle. This turtle is a super easy and quick pattern to make, and some of my favorite features about it are its little circles on the back of its shell, its little tail, and its little mouth in the front. And so, um, this pattern I will show you how to make in the video and I also have a free blog post on how to make this extra extra small size turtle but you can purchase the extra small small and medium size in on my website and in my Etsy shop and so let's get started all right so the supplies that you'll need today are a 10 millimeter crochet hook a 6 millimeter crochet hook a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need two stitch markers. You will need um, safety eyes and I'm just using normal um, safety eyes. Nothing special about these. These are from Amazon and I'll link them. I'll link everything in the description down below. Um, and then I hot glue the backs of them to because with the faux fur I use a larger crochet hook and so it tends to be loose and you can kind of just pull them right out and so I put hot glue on the back and then therefore you cannot pull the eyes right out and I feel like it just gives extra security for a baby. I You will need um, a darning needle and scissors. You also need some stuffing and uh, yeah, just some polyfill stuffing. For the yarn you will need, you will need a ball. You won't even use a whole ball of uh, faux fur yarn. So let me first show you the faux fur and then I'll show you the other yarns that you'll use. You'll need one ball or less than a ball of fable fur in the color Hibu. You'll need um, Fable Fur in the color Topo. And then if you want to do, if you decide to do a bow on your turtle like this and just put it on its head, you will need a pink, pink yarn. And I'm using Swish Worsted in the color Frosting. Now last week's video was how to make a bow. And so you'll just go back to um, last week's video and find that and I'll put that in the cards but that was last week's video so you can go and find that then you'll need for today's video you will need uh, swish worsted weight in the color estuary heather and I'm sorry I don't have the wrapper on I somehow lost it and then you also need uh, we crochets uh, yarn it's called Brava Bulky in the color, ooh, I think it, I'll pop it up on the screen and I'll of course link all the um, yarns I used in the description box below. Okay, now to begin, you're going to take your uh, light topo color of yarn and your 10 millimeter crochet hook and you are going to find the middle of this yarn. Let's see if I can find it real quick. There you go. All right, so to begin, you're going to make a slip knot. Now to make a slip knot, you're going to put the base of your yarn at the base of your pinky, and then you're going to take your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. So wrap it around your finger twice, and then bring it down back to where your pinky is. And then you're going to take the back loop and bring it over into the front. And now hopefully you guys can see that. And now you're going to take the new back loop and bring it all the way up, on, over, and down, and tighten. And now you are going to chain three. So to make a chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through. And you're going to do that uh, th two more times. So a total of three, two, and three. And now you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and in next chain. And then, um, so the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. You're going to skip the first chain. You're going to kind of try to feel for it. 
and then you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and excuse me I think I said last time something else but you're going to now in this next chain you're going to single crochet three kind of and you're going to flip to the bottom of your chain so you're going to insert to make a single crochet you're going to insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all two loops and you're going to do single crochet three times into this one chain so two and three and now I'm going to single crochet increase in the last chain so basically that just means single crochet two into the last chain so you're going to single crochet one and then two into the last chain and now you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch and you can kind of feel that and you're going to slip stitch a join you should have um, six stitches one two three four five and six yes now you're going to chain one and to begin row two you're going to single crochet in each stitch around and slip stitch join so just one and now you're going to want to start putting your stitch marker um, in I just feel like that makes it a whole lot easier for me to know exactly where the beginning is so single crochet one two three four five and six and now I'm going to slip stitch a join once again and now I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the first two stitches and then I'm going to single crochet increase in the next stitch so single crochet in the first two stitches so I just single crochet the first stitch now I'm going to move the stitch marker of course I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch and now in the next stitch <laughs> I'm going to single crochet increase so do two single crochets into one into that one stitch so one and two there we go okay so now I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two and now in the last stitch I'm going to make a single crochet increase and now I'm going to slip stitch to my first stitch to join and chain one now for rows rounds four through seven you're going to single crochet in each stitch and then you're going to slip stitch to join so chain one single crochet in each stitch and slip stitch to join you should have eight stitches and I'll meet you back once I'm done with round seven alrighty I just finished round seven and now I'm going to slip stitch to the uh, first single crochet of that row to join and now I'm going to cut my yarn and you are now done with your head so yarn over and pull through to tie off so now that we're done with this head now we're going to make its little circles around its eyes and you can see this is how roughly how it will look and so to make them you're going to take your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and your um, gray yarn and um, make a slip knot now to make a slip knot you're going to once again um, take your yarn put it at the base of your fingers and then wrap it around your top of your finger twice take the back loop bring it over into the front and now take the new back loop and bring it up and over and down and now I'm going to chain four so one two three and four and now I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook a loop that's on your hook does not come as a chain you're going to skip the first chain and you're going to go into the second chain and make a single crochet so insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two you're going to double crochet into the next chain 
So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. You're going to um, single crochet in the last stitch, so insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to single crochet in the uh, same chain, kind of flipping to the bottom of my um, chain. So I'm going to single crochet into that same chain. Now I'm going to double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then single crochet in the last chain. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And now I'm going to um, slip stitch to join. So insert into the top of the uh, the first single crochet, the first stitch, and yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now I'm going to cut my yarn. You're going to want to leave yourself a really nice long tail just in case you have to kind of sew up some stuff around its eye. And now you're going to do that exact same thing for the other eye. So you can just back up. Uh, the video and do the exact same thing and I'll meet you back once I have gotten the second one done. Alrighty, I just finished the second um, little eye, the second little circle for the eye and now what you're going to do is you're going to take your eye and if you kind of look at the back you can see that there's three chains. So the first chain, the second chain, Let's see if I can bring it closer. The first chain, the second chain, and the third chain. And you're going to just insert this eye into the middle chain. And you can kind of tell it's the middle, but then you can look in the back and see one, two, and three. So the middle right there. And just kind of push it through. There we go. And now you're going to kind of want to just play with it and kind of see what you like. So I like it like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put it onto your turtle head and um, you're going to want to have the point where we tied off facing towards the back, towards the opening of the head like this. And then you're going to put your backer in and hot glue the eyes and you're going to want to sew in all your tails and I'll meet you back once you have put your eyes on and hot glued your eyes and sewed in, sewed in your tails. Alrighty, I just finished um, sewing in, in all my tails and I just stuffed the head and hot glued the eyes and so now it wants to pop out. You kind of want to over stuff it because when you close it then it will just just be nice and firm and so now I'm going to show you how to continue now you're going to want to take your um, 10 millimeter crochet hook and um, of course your head and then you're going to take your green yarn your green faux fur and this is the color hibou um, and I'm going to take this yarn and make a slip knot. So now to make a slip knot, you're going to put the yarn at the base of your finger, wrap it around your finger twice, take the back loop, bring it to the front, take the new back loop, bring it up and over and down, and tighten. And now I'm going to chain two. And now you're going to insert into the head, <laughs> into your head. Now I'm going to want to just push that stuffing in there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look at your head. I hope you guys can see this. And you want to look directly at the eyes and then directly in the back. So you want to make sure the eyes are even. Then you want to take it in the back and pinch it. So you want to pinch the bottom of the head so like this, so you can see there's the eye on one side, the eye on the other side, and that's how it's going to look. So you're going to pinch the head in the back, and now I'm going to flip it to the back where I pinched, where I am pinching it. 
currently. And you're going to start working across the back of the head. So to begin, I'm going to take my crochet hook and hold on to the head and you're going to want to kind of feel for the corner stitches and you're going to want to go into the top. So I'm going to pinch it again like this. You're going to feel for the top, the two stitches that are um, on the bottom side and the top side like that. And I'm going to make a single crochet. Hope you guys can see this. It's kind of a tough thing to show on camera. Um, and I'm going to single crochet four stitches across the head. So I just did my first stitch. I'm going to go into the next stitch and single crochet. So you kind of feel for the stitch on this side, then go to the other side and feel for the stitch on the other side. So I have three single crochets and now I'm going to single crochet. So take this bottom side and this top side and single crochet. Okay, so I just single crochet four across the back of the head and now it is closed like that. There we have it. I think it's turning out so cute. Um, but it'll look a lot better in just a little bit. So now I'm going to chain two. So one, two and you should have four stitches remember across the back of the head two chain and two chains on each side so that should be eight we're going to call them stitches so one two three four five six seven uh one two three four five six seven and eight now i'm going to chain um now for rows two i'm going to chain one and turn my work and i'm going to single crochet increase in the second chain from hook. So the loop on my hook does not count as a chain. You're going to skip the first chain and single crochet in the second chain. And I'm going to take a stitch marker and put it into the first single crochet of row two. And now I'm going to single crochet again into that same chain. So you can kind of feel where you went. So you're going to insert, you're going to pull through, you're going to pull through two. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next six stitches. And then I will meet you back once I am done with these six stitches. Actually, I'll just do it on camera real quick. Two, three, four, five and six there we go Oop. there we go and now i'm going to single crochet increase in the last chain and so i'm just going to insert into the last chain here and over pull through here and pull through two and then insert again into the last chain to make it increase and you should end up with ten stitches for row two. Now for row three, you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you back once you're done with row three. All right, I just finished the last single crochet for row three. Now for row four, I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So two single crochet in the um, first stitch, move your stitch marker of course, and then I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and now I'm going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. And you should end up with 12 stitches for row um, four. You're going to chain one and turn. Now for row five, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you back once you are done with row five. All right, I just did my last stitch for row five. And now for row number six, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So single crochet two into that stitch, move your stitch marker of course, 
And now I'm going to um, single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Two, three, four, five. My yarn ball is getting in my way. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now in the last stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet increase once again. And I should end up with 14, you should end up with 14 stitches across. Now for row seven and eight, you're going to single crochet in each stitch across. And I'll meet you back once you are done with row eight. All right, I just did my last stitch for row eight. Now for row nine, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now you're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So that just means that you're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through. So you, have, you should have three loops on your hook, one, two, and three. And now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm going to move my stitch marker up and now in the next 10 stitches you're going to just single crochet so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten i'm sorry if you're hearing that my little stitch markers um click on this uh, table. Uh, so sorry if you hear that. I don't know if you can, but sorry if you do. Um, now I'm going to, in the last two stitches, I'm going to single crochet two together once again. So you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now you're going to, you should have 12 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn. Now for row 10, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. And so I will um, meet you back once you're done with row 10. All right, I just finished row 12. And now for row 13, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull th into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn pull through all three loops on your hook. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So over the last two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now I'm going to, and I should have eight stitches. You should have eight stitches across. Now for row 14, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So yarn over, or not yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Then insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Move your stitch marker. And now you're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now I'm going to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. And you should end up with six stitches across. Now for row 15, I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So uh, one and two. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops in your hook. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. We're almost done and then single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So one and two, like that. Now you should have four stitches across. You're going to, um, for row 16, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet two together in each stitch. So you're going to yarn, 
insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're going to move up your stitch marker. And you're going to do that exact same thing in the next stitch, in the next two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And now for the final row, row 17, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet two together in the remaining two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And now I'm going to tie off and uh, yarn over and pull through. And now I'm going to show you how to make the bottom shell. Now to make the bottom shell, you're going to need your um, Fable Fur in the light teal color or topo. And you're going to you need your 10 millimeter crochet hook still. And you're going to, to begin, you're going to make a slip knot. Now you're going to, uh, to make a slip knot, you're going to uh, put the yarn at the base of your pinky and wrap your yarn around your finger twice. Take the back loop, bring it to the front. Take the new back loop, bring it up and over and down and off your finger and pull to tighten, pull the back strand to tighten. And you're going to chain four now, so to chain Sorry, yeah, to chain four, you're going to yarn over and pull through. And you're going to do that four times, so two, three, and four. Now in the second chain from hook, your loop on your hook does not come as a chain. You're going to skip your first chain. You can kind of feel it. And then the second chain from hook, you're going to single crochet increase. So single crochet two into that stitch. To make a single crochet, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all two loops. You're going to single crochet in the next chain and then you're going to single crochet increase in the last chain. And you should end up with five stitches. Now for row two you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So single crochet uh, two into the first stitch and I'm going to use a stitch marker um, It just makes it a lot easier to tell where your first stitch is So you're going to single crochet two into your first stitch single crochet in the next three stitches one two and Three and you're going to single crochet increase in the last seven stitches Sorry in the last stitch so single crochet increase so two single crochets into the last Stitch. And now you should have seven stitches across and now you're going to for row three chain one and turn and you're going to single crochet increase in each stitch across and I'll meet you back once you're done with row three. All right I just added a stitch marker on the other side too I forgot to mention that and now I just finished row three and to begin row four, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So single crochet increase and move your stitch marker, of course, and single crochet in, in that same stitch twice. Now you're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five and you're going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. And that should be nine stitches across. Now for row number five, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So single crochet, move your stitch marker, single crochet into that same stitch again, then single crochet in the next seven stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. So single crochet increase, and that should be 11 stitches across. Now for rows six through seven, you're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So chain one 
and turn, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch across for rows six and seven, and I'll meet you back once you're done with row seven. All right, I just finished row seven, and now I'm going to chain one and turn, and for row number eight, you're going to do single crochet two together in the first two stitches, so single crochet decrease. Oh, let me show you how to do that real quick. So you're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through, and you should have three loops on your hook, and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and I'm going to move my stitch marker and now I'm going to single crochet in the next seven stitches across so one two three four five six and seven and in the last two stitches I'm going to single crochet two together once again so insert you know, pull through insert yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now for row number nine, you're going to single crochet in each stitch across, and I'll meet you back once you're done with row number nine. All right, I just finished row number 10, and er, row number nine, excuse me, and for row number 10, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're gonna single crochet two together in the first two stitches, and so you're just going to yarn over, or insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm going to move up my stitch marker. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now in the last two stitches, you're going to single crochet two together. So one, yeah, so insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And you should end up with a total of seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now for row number 11, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm going to move my stitch marker up. And I'm going to now single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So one and two. And you should end up with five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now for row number 12, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to single crochet two together in the first two stitches. So single crochet two together. And I'm going to move my stitch marker real quick. You're going to single crochet in the next stitch, and you're going to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. So single crochet two together and that should be three stitches across and now you're going to chain one and turn and for the final row in this bottom shell you're going to um, single crochet three together in the remaining three stitches so one two and three so here let me show that how you show you how to do that real quick so you insert into the first stitch yarn pull through insert into the next stitch yarn pull through and insert into the last stitch yarn pull through and now you should have four loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, four loops on your hook. And now I'm going to tie off. So cut my yarn and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull through. And now I have completed the bottom shell and now what you're going to do is you're going to um, crochet these two shells together and but first you're going to want to tie weave in all of your tails so you should have roughly four tails that you're going to want to weave in and then I'll meet you back once I have done that and we will begin the edging. Alright so I just weaved in the ends for the bottom shell and the top shell 
And now I'm going to show you how to do the edging. Now for the edging, you'll want to go back to your top shell color of yarn and um, you're going to want to grab that yarn and you're going to want to grab your uh, 10 millimeter crochet hook. And to begin, you're going to take your top shell, so your where your head and your body is, and you're going to want to put it on top of your bottom shell. And um, now I'm going to flip my top shell to where its eyes are facing my desk. And I'm going to take this um, bottom shell and you're going to kind of feel to where those uh, original chains were. And I can feel that they were right here where we begun. And this was the end where it's the most pointy. And you're going to place it on your uh, tur uh, turtle's top shell. And to begin, you're going to take your yarn and um, insert it first into your bottom shell to the corner of that. And then you're going to insert it into the corner of your uh, top shell. And you're going to take your yarn. Oop. There you go. Take your yarn and yarn over and pull through. You're going to chain one. And now you're going to single crochet into those same two stitches that you just did your uh, chain into. So you're going to insert back into those same two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, do a single crochet. And I'm going to do a single crochet into the next two stitches. So you're going to insert into the next um, row of the bottom shell and then feel for the next row of the top shell and it's roughly there and now what I like to do is single crochet to going into the bottom and top shell and then for the third single crochet I go into the bottom shell and I just skip one of the top shell rows so here was my last top shell I'm going to skip this row and I'm going to go into this row. So I'm going to kind of skip one of the top shell stitches. And the whole goal of that is because the bottom shell is smaller than the top shell. And so I want it to be even and um, yeah. But the main goal is of course for it to be even, to look even. So if you find that you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but this is just what I like to do. So I'm going to just single crochet in the next two stitches working into the bottom and top shell. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to go into the next row of the bottom shell. And I'm going to skip one of the rows of the top shell. And I'm going to do that in each, um, all the way around. When I reach the bottom of this, uh, the point of this, top and bottom shell, I like to single crochet three into that one stitch. So I'm going to go into the bottom shell and then, then into the top shell. And I'm going to single crochet one, two, and three into that one stitch just to make it a nice uh, even uh, point. All right, so now you're just going to finish the other side and I'll do that off camera. All right, I just finished the last stitch on the other side of the neck. And now I'm just going to slip stitch to the kind of the head where we did our original stitch. Um, and now I'm going to chain one and turn. And you now have uh, single crocheted your top and bottom shell together. It's finally starting to come together. Now for the next row, what I like to do is I'll show you with this turtle. I like to add a little bit of an edging. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a scalloped edging. Um, and so that's what we're going to do now for this turtle. And all you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the first two stitches. So your slip stitch that you just made does not count as a stitch. You're going to single crochet into the first stitch and into the second stitch. And now you're going to begin working in the front loop only. So you're going to skip your skip. So I just worked two single crochets. You're going to skip the next two single crochets of the previous row and into the third stitch 
you're going to um, feel for the front loop and the back loop. So you normally go under two stitches and you're going to go under the only the loop that is closest to you. So you're going to go under the, fir the front loop and you're going to half double crochet. Then you're going to double crochet into that. Okay, so into that same front loop. You're going to half double crochet. You're going to double crochet. You're going to double crochet again. And then you're going to half double crochet. So you can kind of see it makes a cute little like shell stitch around the turtle. So what you're going to do now is you're going to skip the next two stitches. So feel one and two. And into the third stitch, you're going to feel for the front loop only once again. So you can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's the two loops. And I'm going to work onto the loop that's closest to me. So I'm going to half double crochet, double crochet two. And then I'm going to half double crochet all into that one uh, loop. And you're going to just continue doing this into each stitch and I'll meet you back once I am done with this and I'll meet you back over on the other neck. All right, so I just finished what will be my last shell, um, or yeah, my last like shell stitch. And now I'm going to skip two stitches and into the last two stitches uh, roughly. Sometimes I only have one stitch and just be creative, make a stitch then if you only have one stitch. If you have three stitches, just maybe skip another stitch, but just be creative. So you're going to skip the first two stitches and I only have one stitch. So I'm just gonna work right into here. Oh, maybe there is another stitch. I'm gonna single crochet two stitches and then I'm just gonna slip stitch to the head, to the base of the head and now I'm going to snip my yarn and I'm going to just yarn over and pull through and there you have your little uh, turtle. Now all we need to do is give it its little tail and its flippers and its little um, back flippers. You're going to grab your light uh, teal yarn once again and you're going to um, grab your 10 millimeter hook once again, of course, and what you're gonna do, now this is a little bit tough to show on camera or explain, but it's really not that hard, and so just try doing it, and it'll be very simple. You're gonna feel for the fifth stitch away from the head, and um, I'll show you how to do that real quick, but all you're gonna do is you're going to take feel for the first single crochet, the second single crochet. Then you know you skipped two stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then into the fifth stitch where your first shell stitch should have been, you're going to hold on to that loop right here, flip it to the back, to the bottom side, and you're going to single or Feel for the two loops, you're going to take the back loop only. That's why we only worked in the front loops. You're going to take the back loop and you're going to just yarn over with your light teal yarn and pull through. You're going to chain one. And now you're going to single crochet in the first stitch where you just did your chain one. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm just kind of feeling for it. You're going to just work on the back loop. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to double crochet in the last stitch. And you should be, it should be that your next stitches you can't really work into anyway because those are the two single crochets where we did not work in the front loops. So now for row number two, you're going to chain two, one and two, and you're gonna turn and you're gonna double crochet in the first stitch. You're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. So you're going to 
single crochet two into the last stitch and my yarn is wanting to creep up on me again there we go now for row three you're going you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to single crochet in the first two stitches and you're going to double crochet two together in the last two stitches. So one, to do a double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So there should be three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And now you're going to now go into the next, to into the last stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. And then you should now have one, two, three, and four loops on your hook. And now you're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And you should now have three loops on your hook. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now for row, you should have three stitches. Now for row number four, you're going to chain two and turn. And you're going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches. So double crochet two together and I'll show you how to do that once again. You're just going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then you're going to just yarn over into the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. You should have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now into the last stitch, you're just going to single crochet and you should have two loops on your, or two stitches, sorry. And now for row number five, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to double crochet two together in the remaining two stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two loops. Then you're going to do the exact same thing. Yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two loops. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there is your little, um, turtle flipper and now you're going to cut your yarn and you're going to just repeat that on the other side and so back up the video and just repeat that exact same thing on the other side and I'll meet you back once you're done with that. All right, I just finished the second flipper, and now I'm going to, you're gonna work on the back uh, legs, I'll call them, or back, I don't know what you wanna call them, but whatever you wanna call them, the back uh, legs or flippers, five stitches from the point in the back. So you're gonna kind of feel for the point, kind of, I like to just kind of stretch it and feel, okay, there, the, there's the point. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four and five and now I'm going to lift up that loop and flip it over and what you're going to do is you're going to insert into that stitch so I'm going to redo that because I lost it one two three four and five okay so right into here you're going to insert into the back loop of that stitch and now you're going to take your new light teal yarn and you're going to wrap it yarn over and pull through and chain one now you're going to half double crochet in the uh into that same stitch so half double crochet and then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to double crochet into the next stitch and now I'm going to chain two and turn and you're going to double crochet into the first stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch and you're just going to repeat rows one and two um, one, uh, one more time so for rows three and four you're going to repeat rows one and two and I'll meet you back once you're done with row four. All right, I just finished row four and now I'm going to tie off and you're going to just repeat that exact same thing that we did for this, this leg on the other side. And so I'll meet you back once we are done with the, this side. All right, so I just finished 
the two back uh, flippers or paws or whatever you want to call them and now I'm going to the two back legs and so now I'm going to um, make a tail and now all you're going to do to make the tail is just feel for the two um, stitches in the very back the kind of the two point so these are the two stitches I feel so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, flip it to the back side once again feel for it again okay so I'm going to go into the back loop of the first stitch and I'm just going to yarn over and pull through and chain two and all you're going to do for this little tail is you're just going to do a double crochet two together in over the f over the two stitches you um, that are in the back so you're going to yarn over insert yarn pull through yarn pull through two loops yarn over into the next stitch insert yarn pull through yarn pull through two yarn pull through all three loops on your hook and now you're going to cut your yarn All right, so now that we're done with this turtle, the last two things that you can do are put a mouth on, and I'll show you how to do that next, and then put dots on the, or circles on the back of the turtle. Now I'll show you how to put these circles on the back of the turtles and how to make them uh, in my next video on Friday. And so stay tuned for that. And so now let's make the um, let's do the little mouth. Now to do the mouth, you're going to just grab your uh, gray yarn and I'm just going to pull pull out a little bit of the yarn. So you're just going to take a nice decently long strand and cut it. Now all you're going to do is put it on your darning needle and um, so now you're going to look at the front of your turtle and you're going to want to go on, I like to start on the left side, or I like to start on, you can start on either eye and I just go under, under, right under its eye about where the goal is to have the darning needle come out about the middle of the um, eye so roughly like that and then I'm going to bring it over and then put um, insert my darning needle onto the very front of his face or her face and I'm going to pull it like that now for the next part all you're going to do to complete is go back under exactly where you went, just went, and I'm going to just go into the kind of the fibers of the yarn for the mouth, so kind of split the yarn like that, and then I'm going to just bring this over to the other side and go right about in the middle of his eye, or middle of his eye down below, and go back through a little bit of the yarn or not yeah of the fur and there you have a little cute mouth I personally love the little touch that this gives but uh, you wouldn't have to do it of course okay so now that you're done with the turtle the absolute last thing to do is to grab your stuffing and you're just gonna take your stuffing and insert it into the bottom of this so at the base of its head on the bottom side there is a hole there should be a hole right there and you're just going to insert your stuffing into there and you can fill it as full as you want and then all you're going to do to shut this little hole is just take a little piece of the dark green or you could take the light teal and just close just whip stitch it shut and then you have a done turtle. 
Thank you so much for making this super quick and simple little turtle along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget that my next vid video, which will be on Friday, will be how to make these uh, circles on the back of the turtle. And also don't forget that last week's video was how to make this bow that you put you can put on the turtle's head. And I think that adds a really cute and feminine touch. And I will link all those videos down below. And thank you so much for watching.